the Madagascar Comet Moth are Gamma Mitrii. They're probably old news by now because you've seen them many times on my YouTube channel already. But I just wanted to show the cocoons because the cocoons are impressive things too. They're very big, They're almost like chicken eggs or even bigger actually. Just take a look at this. It's a whopper. And they have been cut open. I didn't do it, but uh, they were um, delivered to me this way. They are collected from the wild in Madagascar. Here you have the pupa. As you can see, it's a very, very big pupa. I believe this one is a female. You can tell by the antenna. And uh, the abdomen is moving a little bit. Just a little bit. And what's nice about these cocoons is they have silvery silk, you know, it's shiny, look. It's very nice. So yeah, I'll be having the Comet Moth again this year. And uh, I hope to have a male and a female that I can pair. Because uh, actually I had this species many times, but I never reared them uh, from larva until adults. And uh, this year is my plan to at least uh, film a fully grown larva because the caterpillars are also very very big and they should be easy to rear the only thing that's hard is pairing them maybe I can try a hand pairing so I have t uh, 10 of them right now just a nice little treasure they are a bit expensive so I can't have too many so yeah pupa have different colors by the way maybe that's nice to show Let's see some variation in here. Maybe I have a different... Ah! Just look. See this pupa. It's yellow. But these... Here I have a black one. I'll show. See? And the difference is because it's not because it's a male and a female. Um, because uh, both sexes can have both colors of pupa so it's just variation really it's interesting certainly they don't have such variable pupa very often so it's a little fun fact and in the wild they uh, the locals they collect them from uh, from the host plant so yeah, hopefully with some luck in uh, within a few weeks maybe I'll be able to uh, to show you a few of them. Thank